Okay, so we're here at London Shoe Fighters Gym with uh, UFC fighter John Hathaway. So John, uh, if you wouldn't mind just starting off by telling us what first uh, sparked your interest in mixed martial arts? Basically, uh, with mixed martial arts, you know, I first saw it on a telly when I was kind of growing up. I was about 16 with my older brother. We ended up uh, catching it quite late night on a Sky Sports it was. So, uh, I mean, straight away I was hooked kind of on the competition side of things, you know. It really appealed to me, um, appealed to me like a, the one-on-one -on -one kind of competition coming from a, a rugby background, which is like a team sport. So, uh, you know, just, just straight away I was kind of hooked and I just really wanted to give it a try. And as you said, you started out with a rugby background. Uh, did you kind of enjoy the physical side of things and that's what really sort of sparked your interest in MMA? I think so. I think it, it definitely helped me a lot, you know, coming from that kind of, you know, um, knocks and bumps from the rugby background. It kind of helped me uh, adapt quite well to, to mixed martial arts, you know, and um, just, just get, on, get along fine with it. My name is John Halfway and uh, I'm going to show you some striking on the heavy bag. I'll be showing uh, a jab, step back jab, and a jab to a right body hook back on the jab just to keep your opponent away. First of all, a jab, step back jab. Literally have your opponent, you're going to strike with the jab, you're going to step back, miss his strike, and come back in with the jab. It's going to be sound like this. Basically, each jab is penetrating through and getting a good shot. Jab right body hook. We're going to come back out after the right body hook and we're going to finish with the jab as your opponent will be coming into. And obviously, to be a mixed martial artist, you need the wrestling, the striking, you need sort of all aspects. So, do you try and work on, on everything or do you go to different camps and work on your wrestling in those places and more striking here? Um, basically, we, we work on everything here at London Street Fighters, you know, um, obviously the, we've got some great boxing coaches being sponsored by Everlast now as well and uh, having a great amateur boxing team coming up through, through the ranks of, from here as well, but um, you know, we, we've got great jiu-jitsu coaches and great wrestling coaches and uh, I think, you know, obviously on, on certain fights you, you build up slightly differently and you, you chop and change what you kind of is the main focus of the fight, but as a whole we, we've got everything here what we need to work on. And you started out in cage rage, mainly fighting around the London area, but you've now uh, moved to UFC, undefeated in UFC, and, and fighting across the world. And of course you fought in Las Vegas last time out. What was it like to fight over in the States? You know, it was, uh, it was great to fight in the States, especially uh, fighting somewhere like Vegas, which is obviously the, the combat kind of capital of, uh, of the world, you know, and uh, it's a great honour and a great pleasure for me to be able to compete for the UFC out there and uh, get the victory and, and have a good fight, you know. And when you first started out, could you ever imagine you'd see yourself out in Las Vegas on the uh, undercard of Rampage Jackson? Uh, obviously, it was a it was a dream to kind of do that. It was um, it was an eventual thing that I, I wanted to kind of compete uh, competing over there as well. And on a UFC card, but obviously, I didn't expect it to be to be so soon. But you know, I kind of just try to take it all in my stride and, and try to perform to my best each time. Uh, a couple of the combinations I use will we'll be using mixing body punches up with with head punches, whether they'll be straights. Uh, through the middle or, or around the guard. So you normally start off in a position where your opponent has hold of your head. So you're normally in a position to be able to strike the body and then be able to come over, push punch over again, back on straights, hand of fist, and then fist with the body elbow. So that's what it's going to look like. And so far you've got an unbeaten record, you're 14-0, and 0. Uh, that's a bit of a rarity in uh, MMA, so are you confident that maybe soon you'll be going for the welterweight title? I think so, you know, give, give me a year and a half, uh, two years at most, you know, I, I think I'll, I would have adapted a lot and uh, kind of found my true style and uh, I think I'll be ready for something like along those lines. And is there any guys like on your radar at the minute that you're sort of uh, hoping to fight in the, in the coming months? Uh, just Mike Pyle at the moment, who's, who's my next opponent, obviously. Uh, I take one, one opponent at a time and, and just focus fully on them. And Mike Pyle is going to be at the O2 in London, uh, two weeks time now, so are you looking forward to fighting? Yeah, I'm really looking forward, obviously, uh, we're just kind of coming down to the last 10 days now of preparation and uh, you know, it's been a great camp and I'm just looking forward to competing against him now. Are you looking forward to competing at somewhere like the O2, big home crowd behind you? Yeah, it's going to be really nice, you know, I don't have to fly anywhere or, or travel anywhere, so definitely going to be a lot easier to kind of adapt and, and just to have everything right for me. And uh, MMA, we were saying, it's huge in the States, uh, growing in popularity in England as well. Um, what do you think it is that makes the sport so enjoyable and so exciting to watch? 
again, you know, uh, each fight's normally just action-packed as well. The, the fighters are always competing to a, to a great high level. It's very professional. It's great athletes in the sport. And, uh, you know, again, just the multi discipline just makes it makes it different each fight. You know, something's, anything can happen in it. So I think that really capsulates the fans and, and makes it kind of worthwhile watching. We've got some great fighters in the UK as yourself, uh, Dan Hardy, Michael Bisping. Do you think you guys can go on to, to dominate the UFC? I think so. You know, I think... Uh, Obviously, Hardy's already had his title shot, and uh, I know he's going to rebound back, and he, he's going to get another title shot soon. And Bisping's probably only two fights away from a title shot if he performs well in this next one. So, uh, you know, I, I really think we're all proving our worth, and we're all proving that we're going to be champions one day. And uh, what is it, in your view, that really makes MMA the, the sort of best sport out there for people to get into and, and for kids to start training with? Just uh, the multi discipline of it, you know, I think... Um, it's just so exciting, you know, and uh, there's so many different aspects of training. You can never get bored of, of one kind of thing, you know, and uh, for kids growing up, you know, it's going to be great to, to make them more athletic and to, to kind of train them and to, to be disciplined.